Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today and before we get started with today's video I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to click the notification bell at the bottom Today I'm up here like I'm fed up Excuse my language if some curse words come out Excuse me if I get too loud Excuse me if I start showing anger. I apologize and I'm apologizing before I can even start this video because this right here, I feel in my heart, besides the reasons why people compete with your video, this would be the next best one for me. I feel it in my heart. I feel the same exact way that I felt when I made the reasons why people compete with your video. I'm tired. I'm fed up and I can't do it anymore and I usually just let a lot of things go I don't speak on it I hear things I see things I don't respond I don't react I just keep brushing it off to the side I can't do it no more no I can't today's video is titled the different types of switch ups. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all had that friend or that family member, that co worker, that just switched up out of nowhere. I couldn't think of all the switch ups I've went through and experienced in my life, but these are the top ones that came to my mind while making this video. Let's get started. V, they got a new friend switch up. First, y'all was best friends. Did everything together. Now, as soon as somebody else come along, now you don't know me no more. Not, not to say that I'm jealous or anything like that because I have friends too that doesn't involve you and family members that doesn't involve you. So, no, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about literally switched up. Act funny with you now. Because they have a new friend. Baby, you only been knowing them for three months. And I've been knowing you for how long? And this is what you do because they came around and I didn't do nothing to you and you switched up on me. Go ahead, child. No problem. Go, go ahead, boo. Go ahead. The next switch up. The, they got a new car. A new house. Switch up. You know, the, the new things switch up. So now that they feel that they have elevated, they don't want to be around you anymore. Uh, they, they grew with money and uh, worldly possessions. So now that they grew with worldly possessions and money, they look down upon you like this. Are you down there? Now you don't know me anymore. I was literally helping you pick out your house. I was helping you pick out the furniture. I even decorated some of the stuff for you. And now you're going to switch up on me? Go ahead, child. Go ahead. You can have it. Next on the list. Ooh. Ooh. Some people are going to be butthurt about this. But do I care? Hell no. The they got married switch up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So. You was already with this person. And while you were their, girl, their girlfriend or fiance. It was good. I was still coming around. I was still welcome. You were still being the same, acting the same. At least I thought, you know. Then at the clear blue sky, the day that it's official, you are no longer single. You are literally considered a married person. Now you don't know me anymore? Look at me. Come closer. You don't know me anymore because you got married? Oh, wow. Where they do that at? You, you can have it, baby. Go on and have it. I, I'm not finna go there with you, boo. You won. So, 
This is what you do just because you're considered someone's wife. Oh, since I'm married, I can't be around y'all anymore. Y'all are not married. Why am I hanging around you peasants? Why? You're not married. I can only do the married people right now. I can't go to the club with you. I can only go uh, 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 date nights with, with other couples. Double dates. I mean, they walk around fancy shoes. Completely better than you because all of the title of being called somebody's wife. And I'm happy for you that you're married. We all wanted to see this one day. So why is it that once you're married, you can't be my friend no more? Or you show me that you're not my friend anymore. You could have been revealed this before you got married. Shit, I could have left your ass alone years ago. You feel me? Oh, my God. Next on my list is they mad because you're doing better now. Switch up. When you were the friend that was at the bottom, listen to me, y'all. I'm financially, mentally, emotionally, I'm talking about just at the bottom. You're at the bottom of the group of friends. You know, everybody got a car. You don't have a car. Everybody have their own place to stay. You don't have your own place to stay. Um, everyone is doing this and you're not doing it. Everyone is able to do this and you can't do it. But the day that you change and you are able to do it and not only are you able to do it you're able to do more than what they were doing oh now they're surely not going to want to hang around you anymore my dear you might as well uh call that that friendship that relationship or that bond kiss it goodbye let it go they don't want you around girl you're doing better you're looking better you're feeling better you're sounding better and you're acting better. Why would they want that around them? They want you to keep feeling less than. Longer, long as you're feeling less than them, then they can be your friend. But as, as feeling like, okay, now I'm on your level. I can do this that, that you were able to do. Or I can even do more. They don't want to hang around you. So for the people who feel like they just have to have a friend... Uh, word of advice just stay being less than don't even tell them if you if you got a promotion don't say that if you if you want to have a friend you want to have a friend don't say that don't even let them know shit don't even let them know you're working if you want to maintain being someone's friend it's all according to what you have now and what they have, if, if you can be someone's friend, it's not genuine anymore. These people are fake. And that's why I go to work and go home. I just can't do it any goddamn more. I refuse to. Next on my list is the, I know my man is attracted to you, switch up. Come on, y'all. Come on. We experienced this before. We've all experienced this. You know, they're going to keep the um, less attractive friends around. But if you're you're beautiful and you know you're beautiful, you act beautiful, you have that confidence and, and, and you show that you're beautiful because you are beautiful. Oh, my God, you're going to get cut off. They're, they're thinking that their man... It's looking at you or attracted to you or you look better than them to where when you're around them with their men, they're feeling uncomfortable because they feel like that they are less beautiful than you are. So guess what? You lost a friend from being pretty. You just lost a friend from being pretty. You can have it, baby. You, you can go and go with that one. Next on my list is they move to a better house or a better neighborhood. Switch up. <laughs> this this not just family, y'all. Because y'all know everybody in the black family be like, oh, man. 
Oh, she thinks she better than us because she moved out there to such and such and a gated community and, you know. So, I'm able to be your friend as long as you are in an apartment like me. I'm able to be your friend just as long as you drive a hoopty like me. But the day that you buy a house and the day that you buy you a luxury vehicle, now I can't be your friend because I don't ha I don't have those things. I'm not worthy of a friendship with you. Really? Where the hell do they do this at, y'all? I'm telling you, everything that I'm naming on my list is personal experience. This is not nothing I just thought of and be like, okay, that would be good to add. No, these are personal. So for anybody that's watching this video and all this adds up to you, you are that person, baby. Come on, let's be real. Let's be grown. I'm 36 now. You are that person. You're fake. And it took me to get to this older age and this wiser age to pay attention. Y'all pay attention to the people that's in your circle. Everyone is not for you. I made a video. I made a couple of videos about this. I'm going to keep making videos that God puts on my heart to discuss. That's what I'm doing. And I'm making this for anyone who experienced this and know that it's, it, it's, 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 it's painful but yet uplifting like it hurt that you did me like that but i'm glad you did me like that because you cleared me of a, a future hurt you cleared me from being around someone that's fake you cleared me for spending time with someone who isn't worth uh me spending my time with thank you next on my list is they can't compete switch up come on now <laughs> Come on now. They can't compete. They can try all day. Literally trying. You're not even trying. And they still can't compete. I've had people not invite me to things. All right, are you, let, let me pull this camera closer. I've had people not invite me to things. Because you feel like you can't compete, so I can't I can't come. Like, I don't know what's going on in your head. I don't know all your insecurities. Why are you making me pay for your insecurities? Because you feel like you can't compete with me. So now you're going to have an attitude with me or do some snake shit to me. All because you can't compete? You can have it, baby girl. You got it. God bless you. Now... You are the center of attention, Switcher. You're the friend that always dresses for the occasion. You are the friend that goes over and beyond. You are the friend that when you come around, you are the life of the party. You are the friend that just brings the vibes to the party. It's not a party, not unless you're in attendance to it. If you're not attending that party, then the party isn't a party. You are it. You are the ish. And when they know you are the ish, and you're the center of attention, everyone likes you, or you're going to be center of attention just simply off because of what you got on. You're not going to invite me to something because you're scared of what I'm going to wear? Not do. Not say, not act, not behave, not clown, but simply you're switching up on me because I wear this and you wear that. Or I decided to wear this and you chose to wear that. So now that you feel uncomfortable because you feel like I'm dressed better than you, now you got to cut me off as a friend. Hey. A lot of y'all use those words on the daily. Friends, friends, friend, friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. That's my friend. Hey, I'm telling you, 
Pay attention. Pay attention and, and, and sit there and think of all the things that you've been cut off on or, or people that switched up on you for. You know the reason, but they can't tell you the reason, but you know what the reason is. Come on, man. This is 2022. It's real out here. Last but not least, you are no longer the same person. Switch up. That means you you got wiser. Things that you were blind to is very clear now. Things that you overlooked, you don't do it anymore. Things you didn't address, you address it now. Uh, things uh, that you used to say, you don't say anymore. The way you used to act, you don't act anymore. You have completely changed. You've grown, you've matured, you've become wiser. And when they see that, they're going to cut you off because they didn't evolve like that. They didn't get wiser. They didn't get smarter. They didn't change their ways. So I can't hang with someone that's changing themselves for the better while I'm still deciding to be me and not change. So if you're changing and you're going to evolve, let me let you know now you're going to have a lot of people switch up on you. If you're dressing very beautiful and you're going to a place, you're going to have a lot of people switch up on you because they didn't wear that dress. You're going to have a lot of people switch up on you because you got a promotion. You got another job. I mean, you, you can think of anything, baby. I can say I broke my nail and you switched up on me just because I broke a fingernail. It's anything right now. Y'all need to tread lightly. These people are snakes out here. I wanted to make this video for you guys. You guys, please tell me how you feel. If you have experienced anything like this or something similar, please comment down below. I would love to read your stories. But again, for all the people watching this video, tread lightly. And may God bless you. You guys have an awesome day. And I'll catch you next time.